Well, we're, we're in Ormond. And there's nobody about. Come to find beer, but we're just on the verge of lockdown, so we don't know whether we'll get some. Yeah, um, coming to the village, it's been odd enough finding some some change. Uh, it's just very quiet. One of the German campers in the parking place told us that the local council is shutting it down from Sunday. Uh, in preparation for Monday's start on the lockdown. We've so, still got another week after that, haven't we? Yeah, and a bit, so I'm not certain how we're going to manage, but if we have to if we have to wild camp, we'll wild camp. We'll, we'll get it somehow. We're good at being wild. Yeah, but yeah, come here, because it's um, home of a Ulmasha Maybach, which is a beer from the big book, but with nothing open, I don't know if we're going to get it. But we're going to have a little book. <laughs> you're on the, the camera. <laughs> Sorry, we've, we've right. been in the pub. Yes, we have been to the uh, brow house for Ulama Brewery. Uh, and it's been very nice to it has, yeah. <gasps> we felt very naughty going into a pub. It was almost like taking drugs or it something. It is probably only the first time we've been inside in the last seven months. Um, in a pub, you mean? Not in some. Yeah, in a pub. Yeah. Uh, but it was. It's been good. Um, it's very good. Very good hygiene. Yeah. Uh, lovely food. Well, uh, reasonable food. Yeah. Well, come on, it's nice. It's Germany. Don't forget. You're not going to get wood cuisine, are you? No. You're going to get stodgy meat. I've got a big plate of sort of like mayonnaisey stuff. She got garlic cheese or herb cheese and some baked potatoes or boiled potatoes to mix into it. And and a little tiny bit of salad garnish, it was weird. Yeah, but anyway. But, I know it's very tasty. But we had a Alma May Bock, which was the score from the big book that we had. And, and we also had a Winterbock which was a bit wiggy and made me uh, feel a bit weird. <laughs> but no more weird than walking past everybody talking to the camera. But uh, hey, we're back. We're back. Brian's on. here. Everything's good. And uh, I think we're going to go out on the bikes and follow the apple route tomorrow. Don't know quite what happens on the apple route. Maybe you have to eat apples, I don't know. Maybe. Oh, we have them now. We haven't even properly started yet. We haven't, and it's I've Saturday, already got lost. It's Saturday morning. Uh, sun's bright, the sky's blue. Uh, it's very quiet. And we're going to do uh, the Orm and Wrenchen Stations of the Cross Walk. Uh, it's 15 kilometres. And Helen... Yeah, I've got the map. ...is doing a map. Which is a scary thing, even for me to have it in my hand. Because I don't really do much. So I'd just like to wander about, but we'll give it a go. Probably get lost. No, we won't get lost.
we're just continuing out of the town and they're getting ready for winter by cutting all the wood behind getting ready to cart it off by tractor Saturday's always a busy day in Germany everybody's like sweeping and cleaning and doing chores oh, and the dogs jumping into a bush looking for a stuff. mouse See little mouse Yeah. Right, at number 13, just had a beautiful walk through the uh, orchard. apple orchard. Sun's out, t-shirt's on. on. We're just seeing, uh, with maybe about a quarter of the way round, I would 40 times the distance. What bigger gaps now in between them. But it's been fun so far. It's lovely. What else are we going to do on a Saturday? Sit and drink beer. Mm. Not outside. <laughs> right, number 14. If you can see with the light, it's John the Baptist. John the Baptist was Jesus' cousin. And uh, his parents thought that they would never have children. And they had him very late in life. And he went away around sort of saying, be baptised. And then Jesus appeared to him and said, let baptize me and he said but I'm not worthy and he said but you know there's no one else to do it you've got to do it so he baptized Jesus there you go lovely I love a good Christian tale <laughs> chocolate. without the telegraph pole it'd be really nice but yeah we've got orchards we've got vineyards behind and this is dedicated to Michael Graff and his wife. Barbara Mayer. Uh, born and 1827, died 1907. And it says that they had nine children. And this is number 17 of 32. Mm -hmm. So let's continue on. Right, it's the cross to Joseph Schindler. Uh, it's just off the main road. Dog's been quite excited because we just saw a little lizard. Can you believe it in Germany in the end of October? Yeah, there's definitely a little gecko yeah. running around. Uh, caught her eye. If the job she was on the lead, she would have pounced on it. <laughs> She's going to try anyway. Yeah, maybe. But it's been lovely. Uh, we can't wait for our bit. Well, I can't wait for our beer stop. Uh, when we get to beer. the top. Oh yeah, when we get to the top, we've got beers in the bag. They might be a bit hot by then, but we'll still drink them because we're heathens. Yeah, build the stock, the Joseph Schindler. Try and get my head out of the way. Helen's laxing whizzically about the amazing vines. I thought this would make an interesting pattern as we crisscross them like this. A little bit of contrast. In the blue sky with a little bit of wispy cloud. Yeah. It's going to be good. Especially when we get to height top. There's already an amazing view behind us. Got some amazing wind chimes for keeping summer away. We're going to sit and have a little drink, but that is some amazing view. You can see right across the valley to the southern edge of the uh, Black Forest in the distance. Stunning, lovely, nice temperature. Uh, it's a shrine to a Mauritian officer. Sa no, it's, it's Sant. Moritz. Saint Moritz, I've been told. Uh, he was a Christian uh, Roman soldier who, I think, converted Maximilian to Christianity. Yeah. But it's a, he has got a grand view. You could definitely sit around here all day. I reckon if I look carefully, I might be able to see Brian from here. <laughs> We seem to have walked a long way to get nowhere. 
<laughs> but that's that's lovely but we're gonna press on this one is dedicated to Alex Schindler and it's the Holy Family Jesus Maria and Joseph uh, we're just up the way from a small uh, a horse trough. Well, it could be a horse trough, but it's definitely fed by a natural stream. The dogs had a real good drink and a paddle from it. Oh, and it's it's still glorious. Quite a steep climb that. But nice. Yeah, got a bit of a sweat on. Yeah. <laughs> but it's uh, that's number eagle. twenty-five. Oh, there's to Helen says there's an eagle or possibly some. We don't know what what the birds are, but we imagine it's, they're eagles. It's, it's Winging around there somewhere, but yeah, it's a big, big raptor, big raptor, and there's lots of them. Well, we have the shrine to Saint Francis, patron saint of all the animals. There he is, he's got his owls, and his deer, and his wabbits. Probably makes a pie out. Mm. And there's the wild animal. Aside. <laughs> Looking for a boar or a bear. Here we are at 27, the shrine to Joseph Schneider. And it's a little place. Finally dropping down hill. Don't think we've got too far to go now, a couple of kilometres. Yeah. It's been a lovely walk though. It's absolutely beautiful. And we've still got a bottle of beer and some cartoffel and things. I don't want to get them out because we'll be eating uh, ladybirds. ladybirds. Yeah, I just went to fly the drone for a short while, and while I stood there, I got, I got inundated. Absolutely, I've never seen so many ladybirds on one person. Yeah, oh. it's not good, you know. <laughs> they were worse. tickling me. I couldn't see because of the light. I'm trying to fly my drone on the edge of a forest, but we managed it. It's all good.
ten and a half mile we've seen 30 of the 32 crosses shrines and it's been a lovely lovely walk to do on a Saturday it's been absolutely lovely afternoon morning I think it's coming up for about four o'clock beer uh, time beer get back to the van time uh, yeah well, it's been nice lovely. yeah it's been lovely walking up all through the vines and seeing all the grapes still a few of them still on the vines yeah it's been a really pleasant mix of the the villages forest uh, forest vines ladybirds don't mention the ladybirds i'm still i'm still itching <laughs> but yeah nearly getting back to the van now so uh, we'll see what the rest of the day brings us <laughs> 